What's up everyone? I'm back with another DJ Tech tutorial. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to back up your library in Rekordbox and restore it on another device. And with this example, I'm going to be backing up my library on a Mac and restoring it on a PC. Please note, I will not be covering Cloud Library Sync in this video. So you do not need an internet connection. This function is built into Rekordbox. You can also see that I'm currently in performance mode, but you can do this in export mode also. So as you can see, I've got about 2000 tracks in my library. I've got a combination of downloaded tracks as well as stream tracks. I've got a title subscription. And to the left, I've got some playlists. And I wanna back up all of this. But before I back up my library, I need to see if I have any missing files. To quickly locate this, click file, then display missing files. Rekordbox will scan your whole library to see if there's any missing files and it would show in a pop-up window. And you've got a couple of options to relocate these missing files. You can manually relocate them or you can hit auto relocate and Rekordbox will do that work for you. As you can see here, I've got no missing files. However, I've got a couple of grayed out tracks. Now as for these grayed out tracks, you're just gonna have to delete it from your library and drag drop it back in. Great, so now you're ready to back up your library. Click File, then Library, then Backup Library. Now this is just a heads up that it will take some time. Hit OK, and since you want to move your music files as well, click Yes. This will back up your music files as well as your analysis, your playlists, and your hot cues. And this is where you'll be able to save your backup files. The more tracks you have, the longer it will take to back up. Now that the backup process has been complete, click OK and head to the file location on either Finder or Windows Explorer if you're using a PC. So what you'll notice is Rekordbox has created a zip file and a folder. The folder contains all your music files sorted by artist and the zip file contains all your metadata. You do not need to unzip this. Now once you've located them, Drag them over to an external storage device, like a USB flash drive or an external hard drive. What I'm now gonna do is head over to my PC and restore my backup on there. As I was filming this, I was prompted to update my version of Rekordbox. It's best practice to make sure that you have an equal version or a greater version of Rekordbox when you're restoring your backup, just to avoid any issues down the track. So now I've got Rekordbox open on my PC. Now, as you can see, I've got an existing library. When restoring a backup, this will overwrite anything that I have done here. So take note of this. And now I'm ready to restore my backup. Click File, Library, then Restore Library. There's a pop-up here saying, are you sure you want to overwrite your library? Click OK. Locate the zip file, then click OK. Now, as you can see here, there's a pop-up. This backup may have been made with a different computer. Adding tracks to the same collection on multiple computers may cause troubles when you want to export such tracks. Now, this is just a notice. Since you're transferring your library from one device to another and you do not want to worry about the other device, click OK. If for the reason you want to still keep your old device, but you're trying to restore your backup on a different device and use both of them at the same time, there will be problems with the old device. If you do want to use multiple devices at the same time whilst using the same library, consider the creative or the professional plan of Rekordbox. Once that's complete, you'll be prompted to close Rekordbox. After that, reopen it again. After you've opened Rekordbox up again, I've got my library restored on my PC. You'll notice the playlists, the tracks in the collection, as well as the stream tracks. See, when you're backing up your library, if you have stream tracks that you've added hot cues um, and playlists in, the Rekordbox backup and restore function will keep that metadata and that will roll over to your new device. And what you'll also note is a couple of grayed out tracks in my collection. You can see the metadata there, the waveforms and the hot cues, but when I try to load the track onto one of the decks, it comes up with load error, file cannot be found. That's because it has a different location. It's trying to locate it from a different device, as you can see 
with the file location here. Also, if you're wondering if Time Machine will work on restoring your library from a Mac to another Mac, it will not work because it still records the same location as the previous Mac. Just remember, before you restore your Mac via Time Machine, create a backup for your library in Rekordbox and restore as per my video. And that's pretty much it guys. This is how you back up and restore your library in Rekordbox. If you like this video, hit the like button, share this with your mates and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.